Tonight, we are hearing from the Orlando photojournalist critically wounded in a shooting yesterday. We're also seeing the body camera footage showing deputies arresting the 19-year-old man who was accused of the violent rampage. News Channel East Trevor Sahaki joining us in our newsroom tonight with more about this story. Uh, how is the photographer doing right now, Trevor? He's still in shock, Keith and Jen, but he appears like he's going to be okay. He's lucky to be alive after his reporter was shot dead along with a 9-year-old girl and a 38-year-old woman. Two others are in the hospital, and officials are still trying to figure out the suspect's motive. I feel like I got a hole in me. Even though he can still crack a joke, Jesse Walden is recovering at Orlando Health Regional Medical Center after yesterday's shooting. I guess whoever this guy is, something wrong with him. At a shooting scene from earlier in the day, the Orlando photojournalist was about to open the trunk of his car when he heard gunshots and felt pain in his groin. He saw the shooter and ran behind his car. I didn't know where the guy was because I was hiding. You know, I, I was afraid he was going to walk around the front of the car and come back. I was trying to figure out if I could kind of play cat and mouse with him. Walton said the suspect, Keith Moses, walked around and shot his reporter, Dylan Lyons. You know, Dylan was a reporter I worked with every day. You know, we were we were best friends, and he was just a sweet guy. He was young. Police said after going into a house, Moses shot and killed a nine-year-old girl and injured her mom. Walden said Moses walked down the street afterward, where police picked him up. Get on the face! We recovered a Glock 40 a semi-automatic handgun from inside of his pants. That gun was still hot to the touch meaning it had just been fired. Glad to see you. It's, it's hot still. It's hot. Now, the community is calling for unity. We know that it takes more than policing to prevent violence, and just as we have come together before, we commit to doing our part to ensure that we stand in the gaps as a voice for the voiceless. In total, three people died, and a photographer will have a scar that reminds him of his best friend. It's just this unprovoked senseless random violence that no one could have saw coming and it's so unfair that it happened to dylan that he died and moses is charged with first degree murder officials said he had eight felony and 11 misdemeanor arrests before this lion's fiance also set up a gofundme she's raised more than fifty thousand dollars in less than 24 hours live in the newsroom trevor sahaki eight on your side